Welcome to the shopping cart project or the first video of this project on the Laravel side. So this video is not about Node.js, this is about Laravel. Now I will start, as I said, with the very basics and what are the very basics of starting a new project? Well, setting it up, right? Installing it. So this is what I'm doing here. I already got an open terminal window here. And what I want to do is I want to use Composer to create this new Laravel project. And it is real easy to do. I navigated into the folder where I want to store it. So you should do the same on your machine, of course. And in there, having Composer installed on my machine, this is of course important. You can download it from getcomposer.org. I type Composer, create project, and then Laravel slash Laravel. And then optionally, I here specify the folder where I want to store the project. In this case, I will call it shopping cart. Now this will download the Laravel framework and set this folder up for me. And this will take a couple of seconds here because first, as you can see, it installed Laravel, but now it's updating all the dependencies and that are a bit more. So I'll be back once this is finished. Great, so my installation just finished, but now the interesting question is, how do you actually run it? So which options do you have to run it? I choose Vagrant or Homestead, so a virtual machine, which will host my web server, my PHP interpreter and so on to, to run this project. So I am already prepared to start my new app, which I will show in a second. But if you're not using Vagrant, and of course it's fine not to, you may have MAMP or XAMP or some other PHP development stack on your machine. And of course you should consult the documentation of that stack to figure out where to put your project so that they get served correctly. Or you might use Cloud9 or any other cloud IDE or cloud workspace provider where you can also set up and store projects. And if you're interested in that, you will also find a link in the description explaining how to do it or at least leading to the respective resources which will show you how to do that. So with that talking out of the way, what I will do is I will open up a browser window and navigate to this newly created application to see that everything is working as it should. Great, so here is my working application. Laravel shop.dev is just the URL I set up in my host file to navigate there easily. And with that, I got the project set up. But now it's time to have a look at the folder structure, do some cleaning up there, and we'll set up the basic folder structure we, or at least I will need to successfully create and handle this project. Probably not that surprising, I use PHP Storm for that. And in PHP Storm, there are a couple of things I want to go through here. The first one is the .env file. And in this file, you can provide some basic configuration for Laravel, as you probably are aware. Now, the most important thing here, of course, is the database. Make sure that you're setting up this connection to your database on your machine or your, on your stack on which you're developing. So for me, with Homestead, this default setup here is perfectly fine, but you may need to change this, change the database name and so on. The next thing what I want to do is in the resources folder under views, the welcome.blade.php file is the view we're currently seeing in the browser, but we won't need that. We will build our own views. So I will get rid of this. And next I want to provide a couple of default files here or starting files on folders. So I want to have a master layout, providing a layout for all my views. So all my views should extend this layout to have well, the same styling or the same skeleton and so on. Then I will have some partials like the header, which is used in multiple views. And then I will have my, well, individual views I use. Views I use, yes. And this, uh, these views again, I will structure them by, well, part of the application. So I will have views related to my shop and I will have views related to my users because my users, of course, need to have sign up, sign in pages and so on. So how do I set this up specifically? Well, I will create a new folder here and I will call this folder layouts and I will create another new folder and the resources here though, which I will call partials and another new folder 
called shop, which should of course hold all the shop related views. And finally, a new folder called user. And as you might guess, this folder should hold all the user related views. So let's get started in the layouts folder. I will create a new master layout here and I will call it master.blade.php. And you probably learned how to create such master layouts in my other Laravel videos and you might have a look at them if you're unsure, but here's a quick wrap up. Layouts are basically a concept in Laravel's templating engine Blade. This is why this file has this dot blade in it, which use or which provide a basic skeleton other views can well extend or use basically. So with this, I'm able to set up my normal HTML5 skeleton and I do this with Emmet here really quick, which allows me to have well the stock type, this HTML tag, head tag, body section and so on, as well as the title. And I can provide certain hooks in this layout where my views later can come in and inject or insert their content so that I don't have similar files with only different content pieces in them, but instead I have one single file where other files, well, inherit from this file and then input their content. And this of course leads to viewer files to be written. And if I change something, for example, here in the skeleton, if I add something to the head section, I only have to do this in one file and not at all my single views. So this of course is a great time saver and it is also a good programming style. So with this basic skeleton set up here, there are a couple of hooks I want to provide here and a couple of imports. Let's start with the hooks which my inheriting views should be able to use. So here I start with the title. I don't want to hard code a title here. I will provide a new hook with the yield keyword and yield allows me to specify, well, a tag here or a name and I will call this title. And my other views will be able to come in and supply a title and Laravel will know or Blade, a templating engine, will know where to enter this title because I set this hook up. The next hook I will have is below the title here, let's say, my styles hook where I want my views to be able to insert their specific styles or style sheet imports if they have something like this. And of course, be aware, you don't have to use these hooks. If you don't provide anything, well, it will just stay empty, but you can, and that is the great thing about them. At the end of the body section, I will provide a similar hook, the scripts hook. And this again allows my views to inject or insert their own scripts at the bottom of my document. And finally, the most important hook I'd say is the content hook. And be aware that all these names here are totally arbitrary. You may choose whichever names you like. I just chose these names because I think they are very expressive, but that is totally up to you. So the content hook here or this yield content here is of course responsible for allowing my views to insert their own content into the skeleton. So with this, I got my basic layout set up, but for this application, I want to use Bootstrap to have some basic styling available. So in order to do this, I will go to bootstrap, get bootstrap.com. And I actually won't download it, but I will grab this CDN link here to basically import the style sheet package from the content delivery network here. And I will insert it right above my custom styles hook here so that my styles would be able to override Bootstrap if, well, I need needed to do that. So this is one thing. I also want to grab the Bootstrap script here because that later on will give us the ability to create modals or something like this if we want to. And I will insert that right above my custom script hooks, hook here. And I will also grab jQuery. And as I said, I don't have this application planned out completely, but chances are high that we will need jQuery or bootstrap models or something like this along the way. And if we don't, we can always come back and throw it out of our application later. I just insert it right now so that I got all the basic styling available and don't have to write this all on my own for now. So jQuery can also be grabbed from a content delivery network and you will find it down here 
and simply by clicking on this code.jQuery.com link, you're able to choose your jQuery version and I will pick 1.12, 1 the minified version here is fine for me. Close this and insert this above the bootstrap script source here, or script tag. And with this, I prepared my layout in a way I needed to be prepared to work with it. The next step is for me to create a new view. And I will do this. And I just saw ooh, all these folders here should not be directly in the resources folder. That is certainly wrong. They should be in the views folder here. So make sure to move them there. Right. Very important. Sorry about that. So now in the views folder, in the shop folder, I will create my basic index.blade.php file. And for now, all I want to output here is a heading which says it works. Just to see that I successfully created my own view and hooked it up, which I haven't done yet. That's the next step. In the app folder, which holds all of the app related code or all the code we will write throughout this application, all our business logic, in the HTTP folder, I got this routes.php file. And here all the routes are registered. The routes are available for the user to access to well navigate in our application. Now, currently, there is only one route, get slash, which refers to this basic root URL here, because you can imagine a slash at the end. Now, here I get the error because this welcome view doesn't exist anymore, of course, because I deleted it. So time to replace this and no longer return a view named welcome, but instead return a view named index. However, this view is not inside the views folder directly, but instead in the shop subfolder. So in order to access this, I can write shop and then just dot index. Note though, shop slash index would work too. If I now reload, you see this it works heading I just provided. So I will get just get this back to a dot. And with this, we have the very basic setup. However, this index view currently is not extending the layout. Therefore, it doesn't get any styling and it is not a semantically correct HTML document. So therefore, the next step is to go to the top of this file and add another Laravel plate templating keyword or command, which is called extends. And this allows me to do what I explained earlier, extend from a base layout, use this base layout and insert my own code into specific hooks in this layout. Here, of course, I want to extend the master layout living in the layouts folder. Therefore, I access this through layouts.master. Now I got my layout extended. However, currently, this is not inserted correctly because I'm not using my content hook, which I prepared for it. So I will add this by using the section command here, which says which hook, which place in the layout do you want to use for the following section, which is defined. So I will use the content section and I have to close this off with and section. Otherwise, Laravel has no chance of knowing when the content I want to insert ends. And then I just grab my heading here and insert it between this opening and closing section blade tag here, so to say. And this command now enters this content in the content or in the place of this content hook, this yield content part here in my skeleton. So if I reload now, it doesn't change if you look like on this, but if you open up the HTML document, you can see that this is now inside the body tag before the scripts, but after the head tag here, which of course has to be the case because, well, this is where this yield content hook is set up to be. Now, as a last thing, notice that we don't have a title, so I will provide this title. And I do it the same way I provided my content by using section title and section. And then I will just call this Laravel shopping cart. If I now reload, well, voila, you see this works. I get the title in my tab here.
So that's the basic setup of this project. Of course, during the next videos, some other files will be added, a custom style sheet, for example, and so on. But as I said, I want to build this project step by step together with you. And well, this is a very important first start. We got the project set up, got our basic views. And in the next video, it's time to have a look at, well, how the product page should look like. So where we can click on products to add them to our shopping cart, for example. Let's have a look at this in the next video. See you there. Bye.